Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here. This is a reaction to Time Agent, Series 4, Episode 1. There will be a review coming, it will come at a later date. I'm going to re-watch the episode. Uh, this is a following the first viewing reaction. I watched it on New Year's Eve, um, although the episode came out on Sunday 29th, but I didn't watch it then. I, of course, I was able to watch it on Tuesday the 31st of December 2020, uh, 2019. I thought saying 2020 was going to be difficult uh, as we've only just started the year, but now saying 2019 seems to be the difficult one. Um, yeah, Time Agent Divinity Episode 1, a traveller from an antique land, was released around 4 to 5 o'clock p.m. on Sunday the uh, 29th of December 2019. I didn't see it until Saturday, uh, Tuesday 31st, uh, New Year's Eve. Um, and this is actually being this video is actually being recorded on Thursday, the second of January, twenty twenty, because I didn't have time to record a reaction of the episode on the Tuesday itself or the Wednesday the first. So in the first episode of the first episode of Time Agent since January twenty twelve, so it's been nearly eight years. Um, not, of course, they've had some problems, uh, difficulty in the filming, um, and they had to. A re uh, restart in 2018 I think for series four and it's only going to be three episodes instead of the usual six uh the other six uh they make it the first three the other three are not being done uh is this syncing up because it doesn't look like it's syncing up uh I don't want it to be one of those videos where the audio doesn't sync up I get that every other couple of videos uh one or two of them would be out of sync oh I hope this hope this is okay Okay, so I'm not going to go too much into spoilers or story detail because that can be saved for the review. Uh, but basically, my initial thoughts on this episode was, it's good. I think it's a good episode. I don't think it's a masterpiece. I think, I think it's a good episode. I think it's a good start to Series 4. I think it's a something we've been waiting for a long time. And whilst I don't think it's um, something that I think a lot of people say is something worth waiting nearly eight years it's certainly something good it's certainly good stuff um definitely have to call, uh, comment on the camera quality and the editing does make it look like light like series three near tv worthy so does feel like it could be a television his own television series um although one of my friends and fellow universal members who's also a time agent fan um thomas Aiden james did say that some of these shots Filmed in 2011-12-13, technically. Um, some of it was filmed in 2011, some of it was, in, was filmed in 2012-13, and some of it was filmed in 2018-2019. Um, so some shots from the 2011-13 footage does look different to the 2018-19 footage, he said. And in some places I can see that. I also have to mention that some of the... I can't really hear some of the dialogue in places because some of the uh, music and sound is a bit loud. I don't know, I've had that problem with my fan songs, but I think recently with my own ones, I've been trying to uh, trying to sort that out a bit. And certainly with the latest F F F F Agent episodes, I think I managed to sort that out with instrumental music, whilst with vocal, it's a bit more difficult. Um, but it's not about my stuff. <laughs> That's something to talk about another time. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, let, let's just say I know how it feels. But, yeah, I've definitely been trying to sort that out. Um, I also kind of hot and cold on introducing this new team of characters, but we don't have the introductory backstory. Um, we're just thrown in with these new characters over the last year or so since the events of Judgment Day, uh, which technically take place in 2011. So I guess this is between 18 and 24 months since then. But they say it's a year since then. So... Um, and that's the same Judgment Day was in 2012, so in the, the week stretched over the new year. Odd. Or maybe it was 18 months or something, I don't know. Uh, let's say it's 18 months and it makes a bit more sense. Um, but yeah, since Judgment Day, uh, this mayor, has um, Charles Bishop, has been elected and he's celebrated over a year in office. Um, and someone tries to assassinate him, someone who believes the lies. Um, and now I've just got on my head so myself. I was talking about the team, basically, uh, with the team. Uh, yeah, I was saying with the team, um, within the 18 months, let's say 18 months, make it's easier. Um, it makes sense that Mortis has recruited this lot, but I think an episode where we see him recruit the, the characters and then we're thrown into an adventure with the next episode, that would have made sense. This was the same thing that happened with Series 1. And although I do have to say, I 
think they will explain some of the characters, or at least um, at least Nid Crookson played by Daniel Sharat, and he's absolutely brilliant. They're all brilliant, actually. Um, um, from the trailers, I wasn't so certain about Charlie Holland. Holiday is Jennifer Jones, but in this episode, she definitely steals the show. But actually saying that, I think that will be the next episode. As in 2014, there was some clips from episode two released, um, and I think that is you know, that's going to be happening next episode. At least with uh, Nidge, we're going to see his introduction, um, his origin in episode two, perhaps. Maybe with Jennifer and Gabriel as well. We'll see. That could be the um, in Torchwood. They did an episode towards the end of series two where we got introduced to uh, Captain Jack. Um, joining Torchwood and how the other members of Torchwood minus Gwen, her introduction was in episode one of series one, uh, how they all joined Torchwood and I think that was something that was missing from the original um, from the original team in Time Agent series one besides Danny um, I think we were missing that and we got kind of um, there was some dialogue said about how Dan um, Liam met Dan and we saw some footage of uh, clips of well and there were some scenes where we see all Liam in the forest the year before the events of series one but we didn't really get a sense of him start um how he started the team how he um we didn't see him meet dan or stop the sacatrons the first time and they had absolutely no idea how they met that uh ben and we have absolutely no idea how they met ben i think with this new team they are going to be introduced uh showing how the characters met mortis and just this whole new team started up in the next episode so actually i do have to say that maybe if that is the case and I do hope it is um, that this episode does do a good job in introdu with introducing those characters. And I think even if it wasn't, I think it would have done a good job with introducing those characters. But I am looking forward to seeing how Mortis recruits these characters. Hopefully they'll be in episode two. Um, which I think definitely will be for Nidge, but I'm not sure about the other two. We'll see. Also, Mr. Devine, who's, uh, again, from the clips, he's going to be um, a bit more, he's going to be involved in episode two. We're going to see a his involvement in this series and you've seen him here although there are a few points where it just feels like what's the point of this these bits and then later on okay this this guy is going to play an important role later on perhaps um feels a little bit awkward earlier on but later on it makes sense um um and the whole and the plot about an old friend with meeting mortis uh and escaping from this um sort of killer killer thing um sort of kind of reminds me of Terminator. In fact, there's a line directly taken from the Terminator, come with me if you want to live, um, with some Matrix reference also in there as well. Nice touches. Um, so I thought, yeah. Um, so story-wise, I thought it was good, a bit simple. But for in reintroducing this, um, the, the world of Time Agents and introducing us to a new era of Time Agents, I think it does a very good job. I don't think it's particularly perfect, but I think it's a very good um, start to this series. And I would say it's probably the second strongest series opener of the four. Um, because um, Agent Liam was a bit of a basic opening with series one. Um, very basic. In fact, more basic than this, actually. This one was actually, this one's light years ahead of that one. In, well, in terms of quality, anyway, um, and story writing. Um, although I, did, I think I did give that a 7 out of 10 in my initial uh vlog but that's just because that's a fun quarter of an hour um this one's a very just a this one is a fun but it's also really well handled nearly three quarters of an hour um crescent not crescent street that was episode two um the new member was also a good story for series two but i think this one just about beats that in this in the script and then of course we got the great series three opener point of no return that that one did a brilliant job of setting up the series as well as and the characters but also we've got he's got his own story going on at the same time i think this one is probably the best of the stories possibly it's kind of a competition between this and point of no return of which one of the two has the better stories but i think no return um sets its plot up for the remaining five episodes uh, a little bit stronger um but that being said i think this one's doing really well as a setup episode and works very well as its own episode in the meantime um, okay, so that's just a couple of thoughts. Um, I'll do a full review later on after watching the episode. Current um, score, I was thinking of 8 out of 10 after watching it. It might be going to a 9 due to quality. Um, we'll see how it might actually be more enjoyable on the rewatch, actually, and more of a good story. Maybe I'll think it more of a good story. Um, but at the moment, it's a, it's a very good start to Series 4. Looking forward to seeing where it goes. Um, hoping there'll be a Series 5 as well, by the way, because... 
for starters, we've got three more episodes. We've got three episodes that haven't been made for series four. And secondly, um, it would be a shame not to continue after this point. Uh, I don't know if they were planning series five. Um, before the problems for Series 4 hit, but it would be a nice idea to do it at some point. Um, no rush. Um, maybe that one could be a nine-episode series. Okay, maybe not, but maybe the other three episodes could be a series of specials, and then we get Series 5. And then maybe Series 5 wraps the, wraps the story up. That would be interesting uh, to do. But um, that's just that's wishful thinking. But Series 4's first episode, good start. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for watching. The review will be coming up later and I'll do reactions to episodes 2 and 3 before uh, full reviews. And also I'll do an overview video on the Hooniversals afterwards as well. Not sure when they're being released. I did kind of predict it would be one of uh, four or five options. First one would be they're all released on the same day. Secondly would be back to back. Thirdly would be uh, back to back daily. Uh, neither of those two happened. Thirdly would be maybe once a week like series 1. Uh, maybe with a week or two gap, although maybe not in this case. Fourth option is monthly, and fifth option is whenever they can slash want to. Um, at the moment, it's looking like probably it's going to be option four or five, um, although we ha it hasn't been a week yet. But um, they announced the date of this about a month or so in advance, so they'll probably announce episode two and threes um, in advance as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's monthly or uh, bi-monthly. Um, anyway, so that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Review of the story will be coming up uh, later in the uh, month. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Nicholas Payne YouTube channel. Um, I thought saying 20, getting used to saying 2020 was going to be easy. Uh, it was good. No, sorry. I thought saying... And um, just got about got some time here, so... <laughs> Um, although the, her male count, well, the other three, although the other two uh, male co-stars, not Jamie, uh, besides Jamie Cowell, the other two, Daniel Sherratt and Andy Flower, do try their best to steal it from her. Um, but besides Jamie, I think, uh, um, but besides Jamie, I think it's kind of a competition between Charlie and Daniel. Although Andy Flower does a very good job as Gabriel Messenger as well. Also, yes, I got I got the I got the uh, reference with that name, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, but I would like an but I would have liked an episode where we got introduced to the characters. That being said, I think that will be the next episode. Actually, I think there were clips released. Sorry. Okay, thanks. Well. But I think that will be the next episode. But, so I, but I think the, but I think seeing the characters be introduced, um, for, with Mortis. But I think seeing Mortis recruiting them will be a very good story. And then of course we got Point of No Return, which was a great series three open, uh, the great opener, which of course was, and then. But I think Point of No Return, no, I think it's. 